Good morning, I'm Caroline Wood. Thanks for joining us for this news update. Facing the possibility of another government shutdown in mid-February, Democrats in the House of Representatives offered a border security plan today that would not provide a penny for President Trump's border wall. We're told that the Democratic offer is being called a starting point in negotiations. A top Democrat acknowledged that everything is on the table, including border barriers demanded by the president. The high stakes talks are taking place against a backdrop of a second shutdown on February 15th if an agreement is not reached. Citizens from all walks of life took to the streets in Caracas, Venezuela on Sunday, waving their nation's flag and demanding Nicolas Maduro step down from power. Protesters said that they were heeding the opposition's call for another mass demonstration despite the heavy-handed response by security forces to quell anti-government protests. Meanwhile, President Maduro huddled with military troops, prayed with evangelical supporters, and released a video urging the American people to rise up against President Trump. Maduro claims that the U.S. has its sights set on Venezuela's vast oil reserves and warned against U.S. military intervention. A major change in leadership is taking place at Mercedes-Benz U.S. International's plant in Vance. Michael Gobel, the head of compact car production for Mercedes-Benz, will become the next president and chief executive officer at the plant on July 1st. Gobel will replace current CEO Jason Hoff, who will become the new head of quality management at Mercedes-Benz Cars Worldwide. Hoff has led the Vance plant since 2013. The Mercedes-Benz plant in Vance employs some 3,000 workers and produces four different models of vehicles. A major expansion at the plant is underway and is expected to be completed this summer. A Greensboro man has been convicted of shooting and killing a seven-year-old boy caught in a crossfire of gunshots as the child attended a birthday party. 25-year-old Japal Williams of Greensboro was convicted in the death of Decoran Johnson. Williams was also convicted of the attempted murder in the wounding of 29-year-old Lavares Jackson. Authorities say Williams and Jackson fought over a woman near Greensboro High School when both men pulled guns and began shooting at each other. Decoran died in his mother's arms on the way to DCH Hospital. Williams will be sentenced on February 25th. That's the news for now. I'm Caroline Wood. Thanks for watching and have a great day.